Hey everybody, Nick here from The Bearded Housewife. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial today. I want to show you this cute, happy ghost layered card. It is so cute, so fun. It's got this cute little cauldron, little uh, witch's hat and broom, little spider web, and cute little sentiment. It does come with the envelope too. It's a really easy card to put together, so let me show you how to get the free file, and then we'll go ahead and get started making it. All right, here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're going to head to the Resource Library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can click Get Access. You'll fill out a form and be emailed the password. But for now, we're going to go to Enter the Library. Once you type in the password and hit Enter, you're brought to all of my free files. For this project, you're going to want to find number 94, which is the Happy Ghost Layered Card. Click on that hyperlink and download it to your computer, and then we can go ahead and open up Design Space once you've unzipped the folder. Now that we're in a new project in Design Space, we're going to head to Upload, Upload Image, and Browser. We downloaded the file onto our computer. Once you hit Open, you need to click Upload, then highlight that image, and click Add to Canvas. And it will bring the file into the uh, canvas for us. Go ahead and ungroup the design. Scroll all the way down till you find the envelope. Click on that top layer and under operation change that to score. Then highlight that group and click attach. I'm going to move this out of the way. Scroll down the layers panel again and find the um, card base. Click on that score line, change it to score under operation, highlight that group, and then click attach. That's all we've got to do. Now we can head up to make it. And you'll see all the different mats for this project. Go ahead and click continue. You can make your material selections. I am using a medium weight cardstock. And now we can go ahead and cut everything out. For this project, we're going to need a green standard grip or blue light grip cutting mat. All of our different card stocks. Scoring wheel or scoring stylus. Cricut scraper. Glue or adhesive. And a Cricut brayer. I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut out and I will see you when everything's all done. All right, I have everything all cut out, so let's go ahead and start to assemble the card. First thing that you're going to need to do is fold along the score line of the card base. And then take your scraper and burnish the fold. I'm going to set that to the side. And now we need to go ahead and start to layer all of our embellishments. So I'm going to start with the ghost here. I'm just going to speed up this part of the video. I'm going to try to talk you through it while it's um, playing through though. So. For the ghost, you're going to want to glue the white layer on top of the black layer, making sure that you line up the edges, and then add the little trim on the hat. For the cauldron, you're going to want to layer the potion, um, and then the skull, and then the handle. And then for the broom, you're going to want to layer the lighter orange color uh, bristles on top of the darker orange bristles and then glue that on top of the broomstick. All right, now that all of our embellishments have been done, I'm gonna go ahead and layer the, um, this is the accent piece that goes behind all of the embellishments. I'm gonna place that down, and then this is our sentiment. I'm just figuring out placement here. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and glue all that down. I'm 
All right, now I'm gonna take the spider web, figure out where I wanna place it. I'm gonna add glue to the back and then put it in place. There we go. Now we can just continue to layer our embellishments on top of this accent piece. So first you're gonna to wanna to put down your ghost and then your broomstick right next to the ghost. And then the little cauldron. I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything down and I will see you when I get that done. All right, our little matte layer is complete. Now we just need to add this to the card base. So you're gonna flip it over, add glue to the back, and then center it on top of the card base. All right, all set. Isn't it just cute? Set that to the side. Let's go ahead and take care of the envelope really quick. So you're gonna to wanna to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Now open up the envelope again and add glue to the bottom edge of the side flaps. Lift up the bottom flap and that forms the envelope. Isn't this just so cute? Now right here on the potion, on the web, and on the sentiment, I added a little glossy accents just to add some dimension and some shimmer to the card. I think that it adds something cool to it. And while I was waiting for the glossy accents to dry, I realized that I didn't show you the uh, message panel and then that mat for the inside. So um, that is also included in the download. To place on the inside of the card i hope that you like this video if you did make sure that you hit like and subscribe so you know every time that i come out with a new video head on over to my blog thebeardedhousewife.com for lots of other card tutorials and i will go ahead and see everyone next time bye bye